Well, temps are already falling across the area and we are headed for a pretty chilly night as we head into our Tuesday night. Teens already up through snowshoe the rest of the area in the 20s and we will continue to see temps fall. We do have clouds across the area, but we can see them starting to clear from the northwest to the southeast. We will see some clearer skies as we head over the next several days and as we head into tomorrow. We will start off the day cloudy, but we will end it much less cloudy. Temperatures tonight, though, teens across the area to start off our Wednesday. So bundle up heading out the door tomorrow. Winds are going to be out of the northwest and that northwest wind, even though it'll be light about five miles per hour, has us with a wind chill advisory up near Snowshoe. That's until 10 a.m. That's where we could see wind chills as low as 15 below zero. That being said, it's going to be cold everywhere tomorrow morning. Dress for these temperatures on the bottom. That's the wind chill. The top temperature is the actual air reading, but this is what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like 12 degrees at 12 p.m. at lunchtime on Wednesday. So really, you just want to layer on up, heading out the door on our Wednesday. In terms of any rain or snow chances, well, as we head into Friday, we're watching that system. It'll bring a frontal boundary through the area. That being said, the system's not going to strengthen until it merges with another area of moisture on the coast. And it's going to bring a lot more snow to the coastal areas. That's why we're not quite in that likely category. We're in the widespread category and everywhere we'll see snow showers. It just won't be as much as they're expecting on the coast. Here's what's going on next 48 hours. Tomorrow we see those clouds clear through the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 20s. Even colder tomorrow night, single digits in spots to start off Thursday morning. Yes, that one degree reading through Pocahontas County could come true, especially in those valley locations where we'll definitely be cooler. Going into Thursday throughout the day, we start to see those clouds increase, but we also start to see a shift in the winds that bring these temps to up into the 30s. And there's our next system starting to bring snow showers on Friday. They're going to be scattered. We're not seeing them all over. And that's why we're not expecting a widespread snowfall that they're expecting over towards our east. That being said, we could still pick up a couple of inches. It will be plowable across the area, anywhere from two to three inches along the western slopes and down to as low as less than two inches through the Greenbrier Valley. So generally not one of our bigger snowfalls, but it will be a shovable snowfall across the area. We are expecting warmer temperatures heading into February. So if you're looking for a taste of spring, it looks like we may have it for the beginning of February. Above average temperatures are forecasted for the eastern portion of the country. Uh, and it looks like as we head on this, as we take a look at the seven day forecast that we're already seeing those warmer temperatures begin to appear. We have to get through this cold air this weekend, but look at next week. We're already back into the 40s. We could even hit 50 degrees next week in some spots as we head into the beginning of February. We'll be right back.